Welcome to the Fire Mountain Gems and Bead Jewelry Making Studio. I'm Sue Ripsch and today I'm going to be showing you a technique to make a love knot. To my left there is a necklace made out of love knots. Then I also have a single love knot earring and a double love knot earring. In my book, Classic Chainmail Jewelry, I also use the love knot technique to make a rosary. So you can take that rosary pattern and make other things from it as you wish. The book is on sale at Fire Mountain Gems and Beads online and I hope you will be interested in buying it. Now to start our jewelry, I'd like you to take and count out 15 large rings, open 14 of them, and close one. So there's my closed ring and here's my 14. Now you may not be able to fit 15 rings in, but you just want to start with that many and then make sure you know how many you used so that every love knot you make after that you use a similar number. So you pick up an open ring, run it through the large jump ring, then lay it on your mat and nest it so it goes nicely together like that. Then I'd like you to take another open one and run it through the two, close it, lay it down, and again, nest them nicely together. You don't want to be flipping them all over the place. You just want them to nest nicely. All right, let's take another one. Lay it down and nest it. And there's another one. The nesting is one of the most important things in this earring or in any love knot project because it helps the project to end up looking nice. Every love knot will not look the same, but they should be very similar. Just keep going along and each time you put it through the center of the nest and you're going through all of the jump rings that you've already placed. Continue to nest it nicely. Okay, see it gets a little harder to nest as you get more and more jump rings in there and you notice that the hole in the center is getting smaller. I always like to take my jump ring from top down and stab into the nest so that I can catch all of the jump rings that I've put on previously. Okay. Another one. See my hole is getting smaller. Here's my 13th ring and as you get more of them on you need to open your jump rings a little wider and stab down into the pile and see there I missed one of them. So I'm going to re-nest and that's all that you do. You re-nest your jump rings and you stab down again so that you've caught them all. So there's 13. See my nest? Now it's getting kind of tight in there. And anywhere between 13 and 15 jump rings is fine. Just depends on how uh, tight you want your knot to look. And I'll try and put the 15th in. We'll see if it'll fit. Notice that I opened my jump ring very wide. I've picked them all up. I'm going to close it. See how that ended up? Then I'm going to take a small jump ring and along the edge I'm going to grab two of the uh, nested rings and I'd run that into a lever back earring and here you would have your earring as I show over there on the table. That's all there is to making a love knot. 
I hope that was helpful for you. And please pick up my book, Classic Chainmail Jewelry from Fire Mountain Gems and Beads online, where they also sell jump rings, jewelry supplies, and tools. Thank you very much. Thank you.